You know it's Get Loose Radio, right? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh. welcome to the best show ever, WTTS Radio. You already know what it is. It's your boy, the hostess with the mostest, your boy Jiggy J, the Libra King, and I got my girl, the Queen Virgo herself, the one and only, the new birthday girl. Uh-oh. Lola Mark. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. Get it. Yeah. Yeah. I want to say thank you to everybody who just tuned in, man. I want to thank everybody who is heavily involved because tonight I'm paying homage to my favorite record label of all time, baby. I'm paying homage because I did the South already. Yeah. I did the West Coast for y'all. Mm-hmm. I even went up north to New York for y'all. I did Baltimore. <laughs> I did D.C. I, I did the Midwest for y'all. But tonight, I'm doing Bad Boy, baby. Yeah. And we're going to do this like it's making a band. So, right about now, hold up. Right about now, how you used to do it? Zoom in. Go in this camera right here, baby. <laughs> the shades are coming off. This is my show. It's time to work. It's time to get loose with your boy Jiggy J. Your girl Lola Marks is here, and we about to have some fun, man. So, we gonna start out with entertainment news, and then we gonna get into the rest of the festivities for the rest of this evening. Miss Virgo lady, what you got? Definitely, we gonna start off with the weak link of them all, Uh and his name, straight out of Philly. Straight out of Philly. Meek Mill. (laughs) <laughs> Meek Millie. Apparently, there's been a beef that's been going on with the game and Meek Mills. Uh-huh. The game issued a uh, first challenge with his first diss record, which was called 92 Bars, I believe. Oh, God. Meek Mills followed up. And then he also had the help of Benny Siegel, who actually had a beef with the game probably about 2005, 2006. Okay. Brought him into it. The game, it was whack to me. Uh-huh. And then the game issued back and reacted with his pest control diss. And I'm pretty sure it was let me tell you fire. it was definitely a pest control problem oh he hit it he hit it on the nose oh he hit it on the nose he definitely I, did i guarantee you uh meat mill would not come out with another disc record because mm-hmm. my thing is this though you got body by a singing nigga <laughs> <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> uh, uh you got body for one of the one of the most one of the most beloved rappers from the west coast the game mm-hmm. ring the bell one more time all uh, right now. <laughs> and you know, you I think it's time for you to just stick with making records. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don't bother don't even bother trying to um come out with another disc record against anybody. Because at this point, your own girl can murder you. Okay? Well, I mean, at this point, I mean, we have already understood that Meek Mills is a good rapper. He is a good rapper. When he's on a CD uh-huh. or a MP3 uh-huh. when it's actually produced and all that other stuff. But yeah. when it comes to a mixtape or you going at somebody, you kind of fall off. So yeah. I don't know what to say about that at that point. Yeah, I think, honestly, I, I'm all citizens, man. Like, I think, I think it should be just over. It be just done with. Uh, just Meek, don't, don't, don't diss nobody. For those who just tuning in the Facebook Live, we doing Bad Boy Tonight is bad boy, baby. <laughs> and you already know I'm in live and full of fat, man. Definitely. This is my... Th- mm. Let me stay focused. <laughs> Let me stay focused. But no, like, on some serious stuff, man. Like, I think he it, sh- it should be just over and done with. Let it go. This is not... Obviously, the beef is not what you want. You know what I'm saying? No. It's not what you want. Not just leave it alone, you know? What? You, you feeling that, ain't you? I that am. Big pop, are you feeling that, ain't you? Yeah! <laughs> Yeah, boy, I'm telling you tonight. That's going to the parties, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, back in 94, my man was like, I like this. Yeah. 9-4. Mm-hmm. Keep mm-hmm. begging. Mm-hmm. All right, tonight. Once again, tonight is bad boy night for me. We did every other tribute, so tonight is bad boy. But what, what else we got tonight, man? Um, on top of that, I mean, it's just basic stuff. You know, uh, Brad and Angelina, they still getting divorced. Ooh. Who? 
Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. They're getting divorced. Brangelina is breaking up. I mean. Yeah, that's what I thought too. We didn't care. I didn't care. <laughs> you know, I didn't care. As long as ain't nobody on, black, we good. Emmys was <laughs> on uh, this past Sunday. Um, actually, African Americans actually came away with some big numbers. Uh, if you have not seen the uh, American Crime Story, the case of OJ Simpson, you need to go and see it. Yeah. It was a really good series on FX. Courtney B. Vance and Sterling Brown, they took away with it and everything like that. So it was definitely good. Emmys won away. Shout out to Regina King. She won an Emmy as well. Second time yeah. in a row. Congrats, so, baby. So it was really good. Definitely um, a plus for African Americans. Yeah, definitely. Best. But we have to digress because African Americans are once again being hit. Yeah. Um, tragic news. Friday, uh, another unarmed black man was uh, shot by police officers in Tulsa, Oklahoma, uh, by the name of Terrence Crutcher. Right. Uh, he was shot by a female officer. This time, uh, her name was Betty Shelby. Uh, it, it, we're getting the news bits and pieces here and there. We're seeing videos coming out of uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, well, what they are releasing to us. Right. Uh, they are releasing the chopper scene and the uh, second police officer squad car's dash cam. We haven't right. seen Betty Shelby's dash cam yet, and all this is going on. Um, apparently, he had car trouble. He stalled in the middle of the road. Mm. Uh, the police arrived to um, as a call for an abandoned car, but he was still there. And in the video, you see him walking back to his car and with his hands in the air, he puts his hands on the car. Um, one police officer, three uh, male police officers actually approach with the female officer. One tases him and the female officer is still shot. She states in a statement that she released today saying that she felt threatened. Mm -hmm. Don't know how you did that, but um, says that she felt threatened and that she fired the shot to him. The, the, Pronounced the, dead at the hospital. Yeah, the only thing um, I don't understand with all of this is that they had news and everything else going on with the chop. You know, person whoever's up in the chopper talking about. Um, I think he's a he's a he looks like he's an armed and dangerous man mm -hmm. and all this other stuff. Bro, how do you know? You like five hundred feet in the air. Yeah. How can you tell? He said this one looks pretty bad. You look like a bad boy what? right now. What? How, bro? And then not to mention, me and you were talking about it on the way to the show, man. Mm -hmm. we, like you, the 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 lady who was who first was there on the scene when it first happened. Betty Shelby. Betty Shelby. Right. Mm -hmm. No dash cam. No dash. We haven't seen her dash cam yet. No, I mean, police are so quick to release all of these videos, but the one, the main one, the first officer that arrived on the scene, we have not seen her dash cam yet. So I'm not sure what the heck is going on with that one. Um, all we see is from the air, from the chopper view, and the squad car, the second squad car that arrives. Once everything is in progress and the, the uh, Terrence Crutcher is walking back to the car. So we don't know what went on when Betty Shelby arrived for her to feel threatened or anything like that. We just right. know that she was responding to a call for an abandoned car. Right. It, it's it's hmm. he was black because if you're gonna my thing this is where every you so this is where it pisses me off sometimes because you remember up in um in jersey this past weekend mm -hmm. uh it was a, i think it was jersey and new york it was mm -hmm. um the uh, bombers or something like yeah. that was going on yeah. um praying for new york as well man that's that's crazy and jersey as well everybody who was affected by we praying for you guys here mm -hmm. um but it's kind of crazy because it's almost like you you take a quote unquote terrorist would you would you believe is a suspected terrorist mm -hmm. and you got him you know you shot him in his in his arm or his elbow um, or his shoulder something like that right. and you take him on a stretcher mm -hmm. but you're gonna go off you're gonna kill one of our people yeah but then a part of me also feels like did you just arrest this guy is he really connected you know to some mm -hmm. type of terrorist attack or you know did you just arrest him because he was Muslim? What could you think is part of ISIS? Like, what is it? Because at the end of the day, you talk about all lives matter. No, all lives do not matter. Yeah. Where, you know where are the all lives matter? Where people? are the black because, lives matter? I mean, matter. this would be a point for you to start out crying. And, you know, since all lives matter, this is your moment. This is your cue. Get on stage. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. And Put on stage right. Let's go. But, you know, 
you know, I digress. That's yeah, not gonna happen. It's it's crazy because my man, um, I got a couple people on here. Um, my man Sharp, my man, uh, my man PJ. You know, they talking about like, yo, when you're, he's black. That's mm -hmm. it. You know what I'm saying? When you're black, you were instantly perceived as a threat. Like that's it. My thing is this though, but as a black man, okay, if God, Lord Jesus, as any black man, you come one, you have a one-on-one -on -one encounter with the police officer. Mm -hmm. My thing is this, like. The police, I wonder how a police, as a police officer, you feel threatened. Mm -hmm. How do you feel threatened in any type of way? Number one, you have a gun, you have a taser, you mm -hmm. have a nightstick. You have so many different things that, uh, so many different things that an un unarmed black man does not have. But see, it goes back to my, 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 I always say it. If you are going to be fearful, if you are going to be scared of other races and other genders, do not become a cop. Yeah. That is not the job for you. Yeah. That is not the job for you. Be a librarian. You ain't got to talk to nobody. <laughs> you know, you just sit behind the desk and just check the cards. That's right, what you got to right, do. Right, right, But if you're going to be fearful and, you know, be scared and feel threatened, even though you're surrounded by three, I'm sure, over six foot male police officers that have guns and tasers with them, mm -hmm. but you still feel threatened, you don't need to be in that business. Not, I'm sorry. Not at all. You don't. Not at all. Right, like I'm gonna I'm gonna read up uh, one comment in particular. Alaya said that all live is only to discredit Black Lives Matter, and she is absolutely mm -hmm. correct. Right, absolutely correct. Exactly. It, it's it's ridiculous, man. It is. It's facts. Like I'm, I'm sorry, I I I was disgusted, and it, and it's crazy. I read one status earlier this morning, and he said like I don't know how one uh, one of my boys from Bowie, he was like I don't know how I'm supposed to feel right now because I'm very numb to this. Because it's the same thing that's been happening over and over and over and over again. And it's crazy. How you become numb to the same thing that's been happening, you know, to us over a month of time. And that's one thing time, that we, years, and that's, decades. And that's one thing that we can't do. We can't. And that's the problem is that white people are so, they're so comfortable with us becoming numb to things that are happening with us we can't do that anymore we got numb with slavery we let it pass for 400 years we're not doing that anymore yeah. like we can't do that we can't just numb ourselves to this yes it is disconcerting yes it is just totally inappropriate right. but that's what they expect from us yeah, okay we shooting their black men they ain't gonna do nothing but talk a bunch of junk and they'll be over it within six months. Mm -hmm. On to the next mm -hmm. unarmed black man that's going to be shot. You can't do that anymore. Mm -hmm. And it's time. And, and that's what people are doing. People are starting to stand up and they're starting to be like, look, I am tired of this. I'm tired of your bullshit. Y'all going to get it together one way or another. Mm -hmm. Or we're going to have a problem. So, and I saw one status over uh, uh, earlier today. And it said, yeah, white people are glad that black people are just looking for justice and not revenge. Because y'all would have a problem. Oh, did you see, um, speaking of, oh my gosh, problems. Did you see the, um, picture of the girl and a guy that had like the little black face that had that black face on and they was in college and they got, um, they got, uh, suspended or expelled. Mm. And one of my boys reposted it. He was like, he said that, that that's the best thing that ever happened to him. Mm -hmm. Because if they'd have got a court, if word would have got out a little sooner, mm -hmm. it would have been worse than that. I didn't see that one. I saw the one where the mother had posted her son dressed in all black and a black face. And she posted her status read that her son asked, said that he wanted to be something retarded for Halloween. Mm -hmm. So she said, I suggested a Black Lives Matter protester. Easy win. We gotta yeah. do better. Come on, we gotta do something about this, man. Yeah. Got you, man. It's, 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 it's crazy, man. Can't get comfortable. Yeah. Can't but get I, comfortable. Uh, yeah, not at all. It's, 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 it's a sad situation. I mean, you got people like Colin Kaepernick trying to stand up for this type of stuff, for social injustice, and he's getting death threats. But <laughs> who does that? Who does that? Uh, like, are you kidding uh, me uh, right that, now? Yo. Like, no. He getting a death threat by doing something that's that has not, that's very non-violent. He's just making a statement. That's the only thing this brother is doing. Y'all get mad when he takes a knee, but y'all don't get mad when we're on our knees with our hands behind our heads getting shot in the back of our head by cops. But okay, but you know, whatever. It's crazy, man. Go on about your business. It's crazy. But I know you got a donkey of the day. Please tell me you got a jackass of the day. I'm trying to still think about my donkey. I, I know you got one. Oh, I got I my jackass of the day. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know you got one. Okay, for those of you guys who are just tuning in, two things, okay? It's Bad Boy. Bad Tonight's Bad Boy. boy. So you know who I'm dressed up as. Hey. <laughs> so that's why I got the all black. I got my aviators on. Got the earrings on too. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. That's the only, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Th this is this is what I do right here. Everybody know me in high school, Randall Sound High School. I was Diddy, kind of, with no money. But anyway, <laughs> um, honestly, my donkey of the week or of the day goes out to Sean Kingston. The reason why it goes out to Sean Kingston is because he, I don't know what he said, but he, quote unquote, got involved with the whole game, Meek Mill and uh, Benny Siegel beef. He said something because he obviously, he doesn't have anything, you know, I, I'm trying to think he's trying to be relevant. But my thing is this, your comments had no relevance so what was going on between the game and Meat Mill? Just because you got a problem with game, that does not mean you need to go after him at this moment. Mm -hmm. It's not your turn. Obviously, you wanted to be known. So <laughs> guess what? We made you, you, you make it yourself known. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to come at you. And what the game did, the game came at Sean Kingston and he also came at his sister. And it was that bad. Graziella said, who is Sean Kingston? Exactly. <laughs> I'm trying to figure that out right now. I really did not know he existed anymore. Okay? That's my donkey, my jackass of the day, of, of the week. We gonna stick with that donkey of the day. I concur. I, 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 like, really? Like, really? He came at your whole family. This was this beef was not mm -hmm. about you at all. It wasn't. Like, he treated you like you was pest control. You know? That's how bad it was. Yeah. But ladies and gentlemen... You, got it, you, got, you ain't got nothing? Oh, Money's I have there? a donkey of the day. Governor Chris Christie. That's my donkey of the day with his stupid ass. Yeah, he's my donkey of the day. You know I got to go political with the donkey hey, of that's the why, day. Hey, he's the donkey hey, of the day because he knew about the George Washington Bridge project before it even happened. And he is the reason why all of the traffic and the stolen ambulance being all stalled on the George Washington Bridge. So, yeah, George, George Governor Christie is... is he is the <laughs> jackass of the day. Oh, Lord. Well, look, yo, we're going to go take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back, okay? Bad boy, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Let's work. I thought I told you that we won't stop. I thought I told you that we won't stop. I thought I told you that we won't stop. I thought I told you that we won't stop. Uh uh, uh uh. I thought I told you that we won't stop. I thought I told you that we won't stop. Uh huh. I thought I told you that we won't stop. I thought I told you that we won't stop. Check it out. Jesus, the notorious. Yeah. Reasons for the lyrical reasons. Uh huh. Just lit. Silk, Bob Dylan, Silkin. That's my joint right there. I know. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I don't even know what to do, yo. <laughs> yo, God damn. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We gonna play a game, Like It or Heart It. Like it or hard it. So basically what we're going to do, because it's bad, everybody's, first of all, everybody's been asking me what I got on today. Tonight is bad boy night. So I did all my tributes all across the globe. I did all my, you know, tributes. But tonight I'm paying homage to my favorite record label of all time, hip hop R&B record label of all time, bad boy for life. Let's go. Yeah. I, f I feel like I'm Diddy right now with the shades and everything on. But yeah. You so like Diddy when he worked for Dougie Fresh. You said what? <laughs> Nothing. You know, let me tell you, let me tell you something right, right here. So, right now. we're going to play like. No, damn, what we're going to do. <laughs> what, I, what I don't like is the disrespect <laughs> I'm getting around here. I gave y'all tributes to DC. Okay, we ain't going to go there. All right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to do a, <laughs> we're gonna do a like it all hearted. Uh -huh. If you like the, the comparisons that we do, if you're feeling it, give me a like. But if you love it, give me a heart. Am I right or wrong? You are wrong. And if you don't like it. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. You are wrong. So what we're going to do, we're going to do comparisons to bad boy uh, members, and then we're going to do them to the... What I said. To the current artists and everything. For the bad boys, you're going to heart it. If you're going to stick with the bad boy, if that's what you're going to do, if that's what you want, fine, great. 
But if you are going to go with the new and the current artists that we compare them to, you give the angry face. You want to try it out? Yeah. Hold on, real quick, real quick, real quick. Since he's tuned in, um, since both Ashley and um, my man Glenn are tuned in, Glenn, congratulations, baby. Congratulations, <laughs> marriage. Congratulations to you and Tierra, Ashley Darrell. I don't know if you saw the show last week. Congratulations. I'll shout you guys out, but you guys are here watching it. I just want to make sure I put that out there. I never forget my black people. Let's go. Come on, let's work. You ready to work? Yeah. Okay, then. so we are going to do the first one. We're going to do this really easy so that everybody can get the hang of it. Again, bad boy, you're going to hurt it. Current artist, you're going to get the angry face. So we are going to go here. Little Kim, Nicki Minaj. That's the obvious one. You should have uh, no problem with that. Do we have to go there? <laughs> you should have no uh, problem with that. The K to the I to the M. You going K to the I to the M? Cube. Yeah, cube. Yeah, Queen B all day, man. Yeah, I was going to say Cube. Who's Cube? Uh, well, she said that in um, Quiet Storm. <laughs> it's the K to it's the Q to the Oh, no, You're going for Kim. Unfortunately, I get stuck with the current artist, so I, I'll, I'll stick on the Nikki side for this one. Why? Huh? Wow, I just want to know. I just want to know. Wow. I mean, some people love Nikki. They this just, just she's it. She's what's popping right now. That's what she is. And I mean, you know, certain people will think that you know she's jocking Lil Kim style. Other people think that she's just here mm. and she's loving it and she's just something fresh and new. And I ain't gonna lie, Nikki do got bars sometimes. She does. I'm not even going. I, I gotta give credit when credit's due. <laughs> Nikki. But see, that's hard though, yo. Mm -hmm. But you, but I'm 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 going for Kim. You know what I'm saying? I'm represent I'm representing for Bad Boy tonight. I'm going for Kim. It Somebody is, is, is torn. Somebody is torn. Tanisha says Queen B all day. She's not fading that. Yeah, man. I, mean, I got some angry. So some people like Nicki Minaj over here. So you get it's kind of split. Some people are stuck too. Some some people are split. With I that like one. this. I you, like you this. You like that one? Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna move forward. We're gonna move on to Faith Evans. Okay. K Michelle. Remember, like Faith Evans was the sidebar that got put on, and now she's good. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> so K Michelle, ooh, ooh, angry lights, angries, angries. That's what I'm talking about, K Michelle. I'm, I'm sorry, Faith Evans was hot back then, but now K Michelle is ruling. Someone said both of them get the angry face. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> that's how you feel. No, I, I'm gonna go for. I gotta go for my I gotta go for my girl. I gotta go for the first lady of bad boy. Good I gotta go for faith. Huh? I gotta go to faith, man. Yeah. Faith all day. Faith all day. Faith. Janae says faith all day. Faith so all day. You got baby. a partner in crime. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Elijah. <laughs> so we got Shout out to Nay and B. Shout out to everybody who's tuning in. What's I, up, y'all? I saw a lot of angry, so I'm thinking a lot of people are gonna disagree with you and go. That was one person. Came with you no, know that one person. No, I saw a lot of <laughs> <laughs> that was one person. one person. I'd have done that. <laughs> angry, 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 you know angry, I mean? angry. Okay, I got you. I got you. So we're gonna move on. Okay, so we're gonna move on to a group now. Okay. The locks. Okay. I can't even believe this was a comparison. What's, what you got? The locks, Migos. <laughs> Brandon said neither. <laughs> Brandon said neither. Is that a comparison? I'm just saying. Is that a legit comparison? Hey, you're getting a lot of heart, so a lot of the locks all know. day, baby. <laughs> I mean, what type of what I'm, type I'm, of I'm who, <laughs> who wrote this? I'm Yo, have somebody's to, getting fired. Who wrote this? I'm gonna have to uh, concur because I'm a locks fan. Thank you. Like, Thank you. I love me some. L O X. Shoes. Let's go, baby. All right, come on. What else you got? All right, so many forget about her, but she was a part of Bad Boy in in, in the way beginning. Mary J. Blige. Okay. But we are going to test her up against none other than the wide set tongue girl herself, Fantasia Barino. Oh, and I'm getting. Uh, okay. Look at that. Uh, <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Let's be honest, ladies and gentlemen. Give me that angry face. Let's be like, honest, ladies and gentlemen. Fantasia. Let's be honest. No, okay, be honest, be honest. Let's be honest. be honest. Be honest. When Mary was going through something, she, the, speaking from that soul, it was always Mary. That was probably about our first three albums. What's the full one one? 
Okay. My, my life. life. Okay. And share my world. And share my world. That's where it ended. Okay. Every other album after that, it was happy and all that other stuff. So no. Okay. My life was probably the best album of all time for Mary J. Blige. I'm sorry. Y'all so can, can kiss Fantasia. My what about? Ever. First of all, first of all, here's my thing. Uh, what, here's, here's my here's my thing. Fantasia, I can't get past Fantasia because she sounds like Donald Duck whenever she talking. Sing. What? <laughs> no, hold on, hold on. This is how she sing. This is how she talk. <laughs> say, 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 Fantasia, how you doing this morning? Say, say, Fantasia, how you Fantasia, doing? Fantasia, how you doing this morning? I'm the so nice. God bless you all. <laughs> I'm doing so, so, but spe- I'm doing absolutely great. <laughs> Yeah. No, kicking off your shoes. Ah. Mary didn't have to do all that. All Mary did. No, because Mary is standing there looking like she wants to cry the entire time. Let me tell you something. Mary just looks like she just wants to ball her eyes out. Let me tell you something. Mary, let me tell you something. Mary, I agree, Nay. Fantasia turns every song to a gospel song. And I agree with you. She's Rocky shouting every single You're a hater. How are you shouting about don't love if you you're don't love me, don't talk to me. You're a hater. Go and for go ahead and leave yourself. You're gonna shout to that. Seriously. Like, seriously. <laughs> no. Mer- First of all, Mary's going through some stuff right now. She just went through a divorce. That's right. Sorry to her. Sorry to him. Sorry to here we go. <laughs> this man, this my boy, don't forget that. I mean, he said hi, hi. <laughs> oh, lo- anyway, anyway, first of all, listen to me. Listen to me, people. Mary is going through stuff right now. So best believe Mary J. Blige will be coming out with a heartbreaking album. And that's the only time that she actually comes out with something. But it when go- she's When she's high, oh, she's crying, God. somebody done beat her up. So hopefully <sighs> when, after this divorce is over, we'll get a banging album out of her. I believe in her. I believe in her. I believe in you, Mary. You do your thing, girl. Hope Just don't Mary let him take all that right alimony. <laughs> Hope Mary cussing you out right now. <laughs> Give me something else. Give me something else. Okay, so this one was pretty hard because uh, there's a lot of people that you probably, well, there's probably a few people that you can compare it to, but it's Mace. Uh-huh. And we're trying to fill in the blank. Some people say French Montana. What? Go ahead. I'm just reading. <laughs> I'm just reading. I mean, okay, so, okay, if you don't agree with French Montana, Mace was the sidekick that got put on. Give a current sidekick that you would compare him to today. See, that's the difference t- with today's hip hop. Hip hop today, they don't do sidekicks like they do in him, like they did back in the day. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So Mace is the ultimate sidekick. You know what I'm saying? Like he's the ultimate Robin, huh? Yeah, he, yeah, well, he played his role very well, you know what I'm saying, ladies loved him, you know what I'm saying, you know, my man, my, 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 when Mace was being uh, uh, likable and lovable, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, he, you know what I'm saying, he was cool, he was very commercial, mm-hmm. okay, well, he was Murder Mace, though, mm-hmm. my, Murder Mace cussed a lot, you know what I'm saying, when, when, whoa, whoa, when yeah, he cussed about everything, murder? he about, except for cussing, when the hell was Mace murder Mace. Before he got signed, when well, he was with uh, Children of the Corn, with uh, Cameron, and a f- couple of other people, with Jim Jones too, he was murder Mace. He was um, Jim Jones taught Mace how to rap. That's what I lo- that's what I heard, and that's he what I read too. Didn't do a very good job, but well, you know Jim he... Jones taught Mace how to rap. Graciela said I would pick Safari over Mace. That's how much. Okay, I hate now him. you smoking whatever ganja he got. Okay, <laughs> you 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 got a lot of coconut oil going on in your brain, and you not making sense whatsoever. So, Graciela, please don't start with me right now. Please don't start with me right now. <laughs> okay, Mace, you you can't when it comes to the sidekick. Mace was the ultimate sidekick. Mm-hmm. Mace was definitely, he definitely got bad boy, you know, kept bad boy alive along with some other people. But I'm just saying, that's just my opinion. I'm rolling with the home team tonight. Somebody said Soldier Boy. What? Who said Soldier Boy? I'm just saying. Gracia. Well, she, she Can you block <laughs> people on uh, Facebook Live? <laughs> she said Mace couldn't murder a candy bar. All right, we're going to move off from Mace because y'all look are her. not right. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, not right. Oh, forgive me. I'm All not right, going to do so it. So the last one is truly just hearsay at okay. this point. So you're going to get a lot of hearts for this one. I'm okay, give sure me give, what we got. What but we here got. we go. 
It is, of course, the notorious B.I.G. Absolutely. And the comparison in today's society, uh-huh. it was put Rick Ross. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So heart for Biggie, angry face for Rick Ross. Do we have to go? Okay. <laughs> Why out of all people, we going to put, first of all, you can't compare Biggie. You can't compare him with anybody right about now. lies. <laughs> How in the world you going to put, you know what? Just because. I'm a t- just because you cannot put this man mm-hmm. in my opinion mm-hmm. the greatest rapper of all time in my book mm-hmm. in my book mm-hmm. you cannot there's no comparison to him mm-hmm. just like there's no comparison to Tupac mm-hmm. you can't do it damn right so can we, can, can we scratch that off the list right there okay well then let's move on to something that we can I, and, and Facebook live y'all get into this too okay if all of bad boy was still together okay biggie included Okay. Who would be relevant today? Who would be relevant today? Who would be relevant today? All that I'm talking about, bring it on. Biggie, Kim, Faith, Total, 112. We can even throw Tony Yayo in there just to make it balanced. But, I mean, all of them, if, if they were uh, available today and they were still around... Not for the reunion tour. I'm talking about like around, like they still putting out records and everything. Okay. Who would be relevant? Biggie will be relevant, in my opinion. The reason I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start with the, with everybody who is great, and I'm gonna work my way down. Biggie will be relevant. Number one, uh, Biggie would have turned into a businessman. He'd have stopped rapping. Okay. I'm gonna be honest with you. He'd have stopped rapping. He'd have turned into a businessman. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Lil Kim would probably would have sold a lot more. You know, came out with more album mm-hmm. than she already than she has right now. Um, Mace. I got a feeling Mace would have came out after Double Up. Mace would probably came out with two to three more albums, and then he'd probably been chill. You know, what I'm saying just doing mm-hmm. artist development. Mm-hmm. Faith would still be relevant. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, shut up! <laughs> shut it up! This is my sh- this is my my tribute. Yeah, you can't say my show because he's the producer. Yeah, I can't say it's my show. <laughs> you're, you're, you're the boss. Like I give you that. Mr. Lee from Behind the Glass is giving his two cents. So, I, and uh, you know what? He's he's cool. 112 would have still been relevant, in my opinion. Okay, so we're going to... So looking at the Facebook Live, they're chiming in right now. Shay Liv, it says uh, Biggie and Total. Travis, he Absolutely says total. Biggie, Kim, 112, and Mace. Uh, he says Total, maybe. Uh, only, only two people. <laughs> only, only one or two people would not only one person would not be relevant from bad boy and that would be craig mack craig mack wasn't relevant when bad boy exactly. was exactly so he don't count we he don't would not be relevant. that bunch we don't throw him in the now bunch. now now he's there for affirmative action <laughs> if you need a good remix exactly. if you, can, if you need a good <laughs> remix and you need some uns in there i'm gonna be honest with you throw craig mack you know who would have been a good sidekick but he's not out like that that it could probably went toe-to-toe with mace Brandon said it best. Loon. 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 What? Loon was a good sidekick. Wait a minute. I, I'm. I need a girl. I need a girl oh, part two. You know what I'm saying? Loon. Yeah, Loon. That's why I didn't remember who the hell he was. I'm sitting here like Loon. You mean Looney Tunes? Like I don't. This is this is. I'm not following. Is, I'm telling y'all, Loon, Loon, Loon would have been relevant right about now uh-huh. because Mace would have been around, okay? Mm-hmm. Loon would still be in the shadow somewhere. He'd have been writing some songs for Puff or somebody. Loon you know is like the Silk the Shaka of Bad Boy. Shut the fuck up. No. Don't ever compare Loon to Silk the Shaka. <laughs> I, I, Don't ever compare. Silk the Shaka was horrible, okay? I Loon hated was Silk the horrible. Shaka. Like, what the hell? Loon had. Who remembers Loon? Like the status the fact that, that glad the fact that I Loon. had a listener <laughs> type Loon, he obviously was relevant. Somebody I'm like going the by the people. If you can, if you still have <laughs> look a Loon album, Facebook Live. If you still have a Loon album. In your possession, like the status. He never came out if with you album. don't, just hit the angry face he never, because he acting stupid. He never came out with an album. Oh well, then he didn't even come out with an album. So just like the status because the moon is horrible. There you go. I give him that. He ain't come out with an album. <laughs> but, but. Oh, I spit everywhere. Oh my this lord! I asked for the news, not the weather. You know, my, 
Ashley said, isn't Loon a Muslim? That's why. Yeah, yeah. You see all the yeah. angry faces on the line? Remember no damn yeah. Loon? No, nah, Kanad, AKP, <laughs> KP. Uh, technically, in the beginning, Mary was with Bad Boy. She was she was with Bad Boy when Bad Boy was coming out of that uptown phase. You know what I'm saying? You gotta remember, he took Biggie and Mary J with him. Because mind you, Puff wanted to sign Biggie to Uptown. But Andre Harrell was like, he's too gangster and all this other stuff. I took the story. Just call my phone. I got you. I got you, Doug. I got you. But you know, we're gonna, we're gonna um what we're gonna do, we're gonna read, we're gonna come back to this. Let's go back to a quick commercial and we'll be right back, okay? Cool? Yeah, it's gonna be cool. <laughs> it's gonna be cool. Take the damn sunglasses off. Come on, hit it. Yeah, who's hot, who not? Tell me who that good shot out the store. I don't know what you do to me. Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. Give me all the chicken heads from Pasadena to Medina. That big get in between your dead feet. Them. The problosis don't cease. Bless the bends like Twizzlers. Big is fitting to hurt. What's under that skirt? Slow down, son. You're killing them. Who feeling them with Octane? Got them gassed up. About to get blasted up, son. The last word were the mother of brother. Listen, I seen him when they kissed him at his weight. Make his body shake. The Octide, the 850. I smoke tape. Rap terror for chrome and terror. Ever too fly about the lyrics. The fist is conspicuous. Bad boy slipped in 95 is ridiculous. Man, my rap lines is like landmines. One step, kaboom, black suits fill the room. So who would make a certain junior mafia is the clip? Act up, but had my homies told us bust your shh. In the middle of the day now, baby. Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. seem to think of only you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In the middle of the day now, baby. Mm-hmm. I you thinking of me too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait for the day that we can be together. I can't let you walk away. Oh, can't you see? You and me, hey. we're meant to be, oh baby. Hey. There's nothing left for me to see. Oh Shit. baby, <laughs> can't you see? Oh, can't, can't you see, see it? it? <laughs> what you do to me? What are you? That's exactly how Pam sang, boy. <laughs> can't you see it? You remember this joint? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we go, here we go. Which one is that? Do you know the words to this? Do I know the words to that? Ladies and gentlemen, heart it if you like when Lola sing these words. No! <laughs> Angry it if she messes this up. Let's go. Hit it. What is this number is in your pocket? I remember when you used to throw those things away. Why do you want to keep in touch now? Who gave you the reason? To act so shady. <laughs> Come on, sing it. Oh, I can't wait for the day that we can be together. I can't let you walk away. Oh, baby, can't you see? Oh, 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 can't you we don't even kiss. <laughs> Man, that was my joint, boy. Oh, hold on. I got to do this one. I got my words. Where the hell was you? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got <laughs> this one. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> you sound worse than damn singing the actual song. Yo. 112 is Duh. legit, though. All right, y'all. I can't wait to see them on Thursday. It you going, going to the concert amazing. too? Yes, September twenty second. I'll be in the building. It is going to be amazing. You're going to see them in Philly. I'm about right? to go to Philly. Yes. Live in the Fed. I'm gonna go see them. <laughs> I'm only. I, I want to see just two people. I just really want to see. And here go my producer. He about to start. I just want to see my man Puff and Mace give back like on that stage together and just rock the house. Oh, the- yeah, yeah, here we go. You see? <laughs> You're such a hater, yo! 
to Mace got the ladies. Yeah, yeah. 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 To pop dry Mercedes. <laughs> yeah, man. I really want to see that, man. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> no lie though, no lie. I uh, do. I, I can't wait to see Total Man. I miss Total, total yeah. like crazy. Yeah. Graciela, I, yo, is, we're gonna block her. Yo, we're blocking her. Uh, I can't wait to see Total and Kim. Her little four foot eleven. Yeah, I gotta track the trailer that's going coming behind her. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yo, I yo, this makes you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you got niggas that don't like me for whatever reason. You got niggas that don't want to really? see me rich. That, that's the song you, you can't wait for them to sing. You got niggas that's always with their... You got niggas that don't like me. You know those. Those PhD niggas. <laughs> see, I pop a lot of shit, but you know I back it up, though. See, it's a difference. A lot of niggas pop shit, but a lot of niggas don't make hits. See, it's like this. This whole bad boy shit. We bring, come bring it to y'all niggas. Me, B.I., Puff, Locks, you know, whoever, Black Rob. If you want to dance, we dance. Nat Trick, what makes who? And what makes you? Got a lot of girls that will love to, to replace, replace you. you. Paid to your faithful, not behind your back. back. Niggas talk shit, we never, never mind, mind that. that. Funny, never find that. Puff a dime sack, right hot That's shit. They're making niggas say rewind that. that. You niggas know, he going against the home and jiggle low. Get your hole, make it low, make that bitch get that dough. I rap as the honeys with money, five guys and gents. Five different tents, that be 35%. <laughs> Yo, shit. Yo, here we go. I was about to say, keep rapping. I'm going to just read these statuses block. as you go back. How do you block these people? I'm going to block Graciela so bad, yo. But anyway, yo, we're going to have a good time. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to see yo. Diddy do his little... Di That's what you should see Jordan do. What? Is the Diddy dance. Shoot, I will tear that Diddy bop up right now. That is what, what camera you, you want me on? see him do. I will. What? I kill that Diddy bop. Man, now is there the any way? Oh, he got the camera. Oh, but they shit. can't. Can they hear the music? Can they hear the music, Dio? Yeah. They can. So oh. put on. This is Jordan's tribute. He should have did the <laughs> challenge so he could have got free tickets to the Bad Boy reunion. Which one should I do? But this is his tribute to Diddy. <laughs> Boy, it's a lot of chords over here, though. I'm gonna tear <laughs> myself up. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, we want to do. We're gonna do. You got, yeah, I was about to say, you can't hear the music if you don't do that. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> no, hold on, I don't like that one. I like, I don't like that one. That's the Harlem Shake joke. That's the like. Harlem Shake joint. I can't Harlem Shake like I don't want to. <laughs> You're off. You're off. I can't hear it. You off. You took. I can't hear nothing. You just, just sit down. Because if I turn, you're off. It's gonna be a travesty if I turn. Oh, Michael this Jackson never let go of his mic. Yes, he did. Get your mind right. He had this right here. He has an earpiece <laughs> with a little microphone right here. See, this is no. too small. No. I, I'm a tag, Katie, and see, look at Kanye. Poor Kanye. Look at Kanye. You did that to Kanye. Keep going, commercial break. No, you can't. <laughs> oh, 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 see, this is what happens when certain people become Diddy during a live broadcast. And now, hey, if it was taped, it wouldn't be right. We got to sit here no, right, and wait. Can you not get the shorts? <laughs> Can you not get the shorts? Dang, bro. Can you not get my shorts, though, bro? You know what? This is some, you know what? You know what? You know what? All of y'all, go to, you know what? All of y'all fight. There will be no band. Everybody get out the studio. Get up, get up the studio. Y'all make me sick. WTTS Radio, Get Loose Radio. That's why I'm with y'all now. That's Unfortunately, y'all have seen my co-host in no, all No, no, not floor. everybody. <laughs> as long as my boy Daryl did not see what was going on, we Darryl, good. No, Daryl. Daryl, rewind. Is, Darryl, no, don't rewind nothing, bro. Because apparently. Don't text my phone. My, Matter of fact, block list right My co-host is wearing the 2005 Baltimore starter kit. <laughs> <laughs> he is wearing the starter kit right now to the Baltimore to be as fresh as he is. 
You so, know what? Yeah. Both you and the producer can kiss my ass. <laughs> you the one that stood up and did the Diddy dance. I forgot. I, I for, see, here's the thing. My producer told me to put on some shorts. He said, don't put on the actual. <laughs> he, said, <laughs> no. he said, don't put on the actual. No. Hey, don't ask. You can't walk your way out of that one, honey. Yeah, you I can. wore that outfit. Yo, the producer's the boss. I got to do whatever he said do. You wore that outfit, honey, definitely. I, I did. I'm... Yo, shut Stop playing, yo. I'm not playing with you. Chill. <laughs> Chill, yo. He caught on the call, can I? <laughs> I hate this. Yo, y'all ain't no joke, boy. <laughs> Whoa. Well, well, this is all I'm going to say. This is all. You know what? This is not the way I want to start off my B-Day week. <laughs> With the type out there. This is, this is how I don't want to do this. You know what? All of y'all. Oh, <laughs> Dude, Joyce is tight on his mic. <laughs> and then they flare. <laughs> I can't. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh, Lord. Oh, take me to the river. I'm done. I'm going to take you to the unemployment office I'm in a minute. I'm sorry. All right, I'll just... Get it together. Huh? Get it together? I'm sorry. Those are nice FUBU shorts. Okay, we're going to move on to <laughs> to end the show. Uh, this has been Bad Boy. We've had a great time. No, I'm doing a duo <laughs> with this. This It will be a duo with this. <laughs> this this bull crap I've been going through. He gonna zip on the rest of the pants. <laughs> In the show by my damn self. Oh my okay. oh my Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> don't put that camera over here to her. It's just me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I will be doing this thing over again. This is not the tribute. Oh God. <laughs> Stay over there. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, we will do we were we will do this another day. I will make sure that Lola won't be in the picture on this. <laughs> Shorts with <laughs>